Wow, look at the bacon. And uh, I'll have the bacon club without the turkey. George, don't make me get tough with you. Why, you think you can uh, beat me up? You wouldn't want me to mess up that beautiful face of yours. Stop. You don't want bacon. I'll surprise you. Wow, is she not terrific? She does have a way. You think she really thinks I have a beautiful face, or is she just saying that? Well, they do work on tips. George, don't make me get tough with you. Ugh, who says that? She's really cool. But what do you think? Think she likes me? Ugh, I should have got uh, the egg white on one. Well, why should she like me? There are a million people to like. Damn. Huh? Maybe she could like me. Is that far-fetched? Eh, maybe she sees something. Is it possible? No. No? Not possible. Not possible. Hi! Hey, Elaine. Hey, Elaine. How's your trip? Good. What trip? You were gone? Yeah. I went to England with Mr. Pitt. For five days. Well, how was it? Actually, it was pretty nice. I met this Englishman and he really hit it off. <laughs> well, that relationship's got a lot of potential. Look, Jerome, I happen to be flying him in on my frequent flyer miles, so. Flying him in? How long are you staying for? It's an open ended ticket. He can leave whenever he wants. Oh, it is, in only five days. Oh no, it's, it's Kenny Benet. Who's Steve? He's a horrible comedian. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Oh, hey, Kenny. Who are your friends? Oh, uh, George. Elaine. Hi. Hey. Hi. So, how's things? You're going great. I've been working out. Going from a size 40 to a 42. Hmm, that's terrific. Yeah, I'm huge. Well, uh, leave you guys alone. Alright. Okay, thanks! You know what just hit me? Jerry, what size suit are you? 40. Perfect. Brand new Armani suit. Want it? Well, I don't know if I should really... Well, why should it go to waste? An Armani suit. Take the suit? Oh, Alright then. You gonna be home later? Yeah. I'll drop, I'll drop it back. Hey, new suit. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Here, I personally made you a cold chicken sandwich. It's not even on the menu. walk back in? That's the toughest move in the business. You're sitting me in the no man's land. And if I get shot down, I have to crawl all the way back. Well, I can't do it. I can't, I tell you. Where are you stuck again? You're going back in there, soldier. That's an order. Get back in there. Hey. Hey. Listen. I need you to do me a favor. Uh, what? Well, I need you to help me move my refrigerator. Why? Because I'm getting rid of it. Here you go. Oh, hey Jerry, it's behind you. Yeah, I got the soup. Why are you getting rid of your refrigerator? Well, after that kidney stone, I only want fresh food. You know, it's gotta be fresh. I'm not eating any more stored food. Just let you know. I want the space. For what? Well, I could put a dresser in there. I could get dressed while I make breakfast. Uh, come on in. Hey. hey. I got the soup. Yeah. You didn't think I was really gonna bring you, did you? What? You're just giving him this suit? Yeah. And it's an Armani. Armani? Hey, Armani, Jerry! Yeah, yeah, I heard. Ooh. 
Come on, try on. Oh, that's okay. Come on, I want to see how it fits. Okay. There. Ooh, that looks great. Can't believe you're just giving him this. I don't even want anything for it. He's very generous, isn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm just taking you out to dinner sometime. Uh, dinner? Yeah. You buy me a meal, I give you an Armani suit. Can't get a better deal than that. No, you'll never get a better deal than that. Alright, I'll leave you guys alone. Oh, that Armani looks great, huh? Yep. Oh, that's a deal, alright. It's a horrible deal. I don't want to have to go out to dinner with him. I'd rather just make my own suit. I did it. It's all done. <laughs> hey! I did it. We're going out as soon as she gets off work. And it'll still be in the daytime. You know, I'm much better the day than I am the night. Less pressure. Yeah, gotta love the day day. No wine, no shower. Yeah. yeah. So the trip was good? Yeah. Well, except for that dreadful airline. It tends to wreak havoc on my stomach. You know, I've never admitted this to anyone before, but I kind of like the airline food. Well, that's probably because of the oh. What? What? Yeah, what? <sighs> what? Where I come from, we don't say what, we say pardon? <laughs> that should be interesting. Pardon? Nothing. <laughs> Then a year, about a year ago, I started selling these funky little hair clips. It's going pretty good. I make them in my apartment. I'm just doing this waitress thing for a while because I wanted to go to Europe this summer and I could use a few extra... careful. Oh, it's just horse manure. You know, horse manure is not that bad. I don't even mind the word manure. It's just newer, which is good, with the ma in front of that. It's, if you consider your other choices, manure is actually pretty refreshing. That's a nice watch, George. Yeah. You know, my boyfriend has the same one. Huh? Really? Yeah, he loves watches. He's a real watch freak. Well, how about that? Ooh, look out. You stepped right in it. Yep, I sure did. You just pretended like it didn't bother you? Boyfriend. <laughs> What is that? I mean, what does she think I asked her out for? Yeah, and it's just the way they slip it in there. Yeah, like it's just part of the conversation. Oh, my boyfriend really likes watches. He's a real watch freak. Well, that's just fabulous. Well, let me ask you this. What exactly did you say when you asked her out? I said, would you like to go on a walk or something? Oh, uh, well, a walk or something. Or something. I said, or something. Or something. Yeah, that's a day. There you go. Well, it's possible that she called an audible. What do you mean? Well, she got up to the line of scrimmage, looked at the defense, and decided to change the play. Uh, I think it was going okay. I mean, we were having a nice conversation. Mm-hmm. I mentioned how I like horse manure. You did? Yeah. You mentioned how you like horse manure. Yeah, like how when you break it down, it's actually a very positive thing. You know, you got the newer with the ma in front of it. Ma, newer. It's not bad. And it was at this point that she mentioned the boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, you think it's because of what I said about the manure? Well, I was just saying how it takes a negative thing and puts a positive spin on it. Yeah, I was just saying, she might not have been so enamored by your thoughts and feelings on manure. So you don't think she really has a boyfriend? In my honest opinion, I think she made it up. Well, then she's just a liar, isn't she? Hey. Hey. Uh, you're here for food, aren't you? Huh, <laughs> no, no, no. You got me all wrong, buddy. I love the no refrigerator. You know what I discovered? I love depriving myself of things. It's fun. Very monastic. Well, what do you eat? It's all fresh. Fresh fish, fresh fowl, fresh fruit. I buy it. Oh, no, 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 no. I eat it. Well, I'm glad it's working out for you. Oh yeah, it's working out. And I got a date with that waitress that works at Reggie's. 
Oh, if I could meet a hostess, we could start up our own place. Oh, well, I'll tell you. She's a full-figured gal. Ah, really? Oh, you better believe it, buddy. Hey, George, we could double some time. Yeah, yeah, we could. And, uh, Kramer, uh, next time you talk to her, see if she knows Kelly from Monks. I want to know if she really has a boyfriend. All right, it's done. Jerry, it's Kenny. So I was thinking, if you're not doing anything later, how about I get my meal tonight? Yeah, you want that meal, don't you? Oh, how about uh, Mendy's? Ever been there? Ah, you'll love it. Tell you what, uh, meet you there around 7. Uh, alright. I really needed that suit, didn't I? I start out with weights. I do 10 reps. Two sets. Really good on the biceps. That's fantastic. Do you work out with weights? <laughs> no. You should. Why? So, have you worn the suit yet? No, I haven't. Oh, here's the waiter now. Are you ready to order, gentlemen? Get the swordfish, Jerry. Best swordfish in the city. I think I'll have the salmon. And for you, sir? Um, I think I'll have the soup. I'll save the meal for another time. Another time? Yeah. What other time? I had a hot dog earlier. I'm not that hungry. Uh, no, no, no. This is the dinner. The soup counts. Soup is not a meal. You're supposed to buy me a meal. I'm not holding back. You can order whatever you want. I don't want anything but the soup. Well, then that's the meal. But I had a hot dog. I didn't tell you to buy a hot dog. Who told you to buy a hot dog? I give you a brand new Imani suit and you won't even buy me a meal? Okay, fine. Get the soup. Get the soup. So then he just orders the soup. He wants to save the dinner for later. And I gotta do the whole thing over again. What kind of soup was it? Uh, consomme or something. Consomme. Hmm. What? Well, that's not really a meal, Jerry. I mean, if it were chicken gumbo or matzo ball or mushroom barley, then I would agree with you. Those are very hearty soups. Helene, you're missing the whole point. The what? meal is the act of sitting down with him. It doesn't matter what he orders. As long as you're sitting in a restaurant, it's a meal. Was it a cup or a bowl? Well, uh... I'm just curious. It was a bowl, okay? Did he crumble any crackers in it? Yes, he crumbled crackers into it, okay? Crumbled crackers into a bowl. That could be a meal. God, it feels like I'm talking to my Aunt Sylvia over here. Oh, hi, Simon. This is Jerry. Hello. Listen, do you have any cash on you? Yeah, in my purse. No, there's only six dollars in there. Oh, uh, I actually have some money. What, what do you need? Oh, about twenty dollars could work. Thanks, mate. Where, where are you going? Oh, I'm just visiting. Uh, okay, we'll see you later. I won't be back for dinner. Pardon? Yeah, yeah. Is she here? Yeah, yeah, she's here. Are you gonna talk to her? No, I'm very uncomfortable. Have you talked to her? No, she's here. Hello? Hello. What's it gonna be? Yeah, what we have. Are you eating? It's in that vein. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just have the bullet chili. I'll have egg white omelet. What's it gonna be? Did you hear that? Yeah, that was bad. Do you feel that tension? We used to have banner. Where's the banter? Oh, oh, it's Kenny. Slide out so we can't sit down. Hey! Hey! You want the suit yet? Yeah, actually, I put it on last night and slept in it. You did? No, no, that's a joke. Oh. <laughs> hey, can I squeeze in? Sure you can. Can I take your order? What kind of soups do you have? Uh, no. How about instead you get a sandwich? Um, I'll have a tomato soup with a tuna on toast. Great. 
So, this is it, you know. So, the meal. So, uh, stock up, buddy. And this isn't a meal. Soup and eggs, that's a meal. This is soup in a coffee shop. You're supposed to take me out to some nice place like Mendy. I already tried that. I give you a brand new Armani suit, all you give me is soup in a coffee shop? What kind of gesture is that? Sorry, but this completes the transaction. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Hey, I just spoke to, uh, Hildy. Yeah? Best friend. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She made it up. getting a beer. He'll be up in a minute. I'm not expecting any change. When's he leaving? About two days. Although he is hinting he'd like to stay longer. Fortunately, he has no money or prospects. Hey, mate. Fancy a beer? Aw, uh, no thanks. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, no one told you to order the soup. Sorry, there's no dinner, and there's not going to be a dinner. Goodbye. Hey, Simon, what size suit are you? A uh, 40. Perfect. Brand new Armani suit. You want it? Absolutely! It's yours. Can't stand the side of the thing. Here's your car keys. Thanks. Hey Jerry, it's Banya. You know, I've been doing some thinking and uh, I want my suit back. Uh, I'm sorry, I gave your suit away. Well, it's my suit. Goodbye, Barbara. Hey! Hey! Um, yeah, so, uh, how is everything? Uh, okay. Good, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Really? You want food, don't you? It's not for me. It's for Hildy. The waitress I was telling you about? She's hungry. She wants food. I can't go back in there without any food. There'll be trouble. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Thanks, buddy. Did you find anything? Um, yeah. Um, there's a few things in here. Uh, peanut butter, cheese. Cheese is good. Yeah, what kind? Mm. Swiss? Alright, it'll have to do. Come on. Hey, what are you doing out here? Let's go in. Can't go in there. It's too uncomfortable. What, you're saying we can never go back in there? Hey, what's going on? Uh, we can't. George here took a waitress out on a walk. What's the difference? Let's go to Reggie's. Reggie's? I can't eat anything. It's the same menu. There's no big salad. I'll make you a big salad. You think they're the only ones that makes a big salad? Alright, let's go to Reggie's. Where's Simon? Did he leave? Uh, wait till you hear this. So he picks up this girl right in front of me. I've been going there seven years. She's been there three weeks. Yeah, not fair. I mean, if anyone should be forced to leave, it's her. Yeah, she's on your turn. Well, she should get fired. Is there a way that could happen? I mean, I know how to get myself fired. Yeah, you're the man. But how do I get someone else fired? Well, the way I see it is, you take the same principles that got you fired, but redirect them outwardly. Hey, hey. She's hungry, Jerry. Uh, sorry. There's no more food. No food? We gotta have something. I can't go back in there without any food. She's expecting something, Jerry. You don't know what she's like when that blood sugar drops. Food! See, she's already in a bad mood. She just got fired. How'd she get fired? Oh, because I called over there a couple times and the manager didn't like it. He's 
comment here so that we might be. Yeah, he's one of those bounders, isn't he? Yes, he's sure one of those bounders. Egg white omelet, big salad. Thank you. I just wanted to let you guys know that Friday's my last day. Bloomingdale's just ordered a bunch of my hair clips, and thank God I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> hey, Jerry, where's my suit? I don't have your suit, but you can have half my omelet. I told you, she's busy. She can't find the phone right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's that tall guy with glasses who's always here with them. He's trying to get me in trouble. Hey, yeah, I got a message for you. Tell your friend George that next time I see him around here, I'm gonna turn him into my own personal hand puppet. Hello. Here you are, just as promised. I am a man of my word. So when are you leaving? Oh, Elaine, are you trying to get rid of me? <laughs> I was supposed to leave tomorrow, but due to a job interview, it might extend my visit indefinitely. And it's all thanks to this suit. How do I look? I'm a sure shoe in, aren't I? Thanks again, Lau. Hey, Kenny, you still want that suit? Yeah. There it goes! Hey, hey you, get back here. What you doing? Unhand me! Oh. Take it off! <laughs> <laughs>